time does not stand still and science develops with it. The modern world almost every month offers people to get acquainted with various innovations and inventions which every day changes our world and develops our mind. Just 10 years ago, people were using simple technologies, which are already gaining new momentum and improving every day. Many of the inventions have greatly simplified people's lives and today it's difficult even to imagine the modern world without them. However, there were also inventions that could radically change the world but never reached a wide range of consumers. Why things that can radically change our lives which are known in narrow scientific circles didn't get distributed? Well, here's a thought on the subject. Inventions that might have changed the world if they were not banned. But don't forget to support my activities by liking and subscribing the channel. It helps out a lot with the content development. So, let's go. The Cure for Cancer In 1934, scientist Royal Ripe created a laser beam that could attack and destroy cancer cells. It sounds like a fairy tale, but such a treatment has left 14 documented cases of patients with terminal cancer cured. Royal Rife, a microbiologist and inventor of the heterodyne microscope, used resonant frequencies to convert cancer cells to normal cells in the 1930s. He understood that it was the microbes that triggered the transition from normal cells to cancer cells, and that is why killing them made the transition back possible. However, when the scientist refused to cooperate with a major government firm, his research was shut down and the laser was destroyed. Just imagine how many lives this invention could have saved. Rife's method was 100% successful, however, it should be understood that he was treating cancer patients before the discovery of chemotherapy, so his patients were not in such critical condition as today's patients. Nevertheless, today's exact replicas of Rife's machine using the latest technology help today's cancer patients very well. Hemp Fuel Today, more and more attention is paid to the ecological problems of the Earth because of the constant omission of waste into the atmosphere, the large amount of garbage and pollution. The solution to this global problem would be to eliminate the gasoline we are accustomed to. Imagine how much better the air quality would be if we could replace gasoline with something more environmentally friendly, non-polluting such as biofuel made from hemp. Yes, such fuel has already been invented. Its structure is very similar to gasoline and it's even possible to mix these fuels. Interestingly, the use of hemp fuel does not reduce the performance of vehicles at all. Since the biofuel does not contain the harmful substances that are produced by the combustion of kerosene and gasoline, the parts wear out much later, so owners do not have to modify the fuel system as with gas, for example. By the way, you can grow cannabis on all kinds of land. The only thing is that if you grow it on a large scale, you need a lot of land. It will displace food products, consequently, its cost will increase as well as the cost of land. It is believed that this method would be too expensive, so scientists are still looking for alternatives. Only the most common version of the ban on the use of hemp is the reluctance of the oil magnets to lose millions of dollars in profits. After all, it's clear that the use of fuel will significantly reduce the demand for oil production. This fuel has many advantages apart from the fact that to use it is not necessary to make any changes in the car engine. Free Energy there's no doubt that many people know about the genius inventor Nikola Tesla. Many of the inventions are still in use today, from the neon lamp to the remote control. Tesla also knew how to get energy from the air, ether, which he devoted most of his life to studying. The term ether referred to a medium that fills the entire universe and mediates influence. Light, electricity, thermal radiation, gravity, magnetism, and perhaps even matter were considered to be manifestations of the ether. Even in his younger years, the scientist was interested in the phenomenon. He dreamed of giving mankind free and endless energy, which could end many resource wars. Tesla worked on technology to transmit electricity wirelessly over long distances. If you study the entire range of inventions by the genius inventor, it's hard to believe that it was done by one man, especially in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. 
But that is a separate story, how all these developments came to his mind. From 1901, Tesla was financed by bankers John Pierpont Morgan and James S. Warden. They provided finances to develop technology that could bring them enormous profits in the future. This project was called Wardencliffe. With the money allocated, Tesla had to come up with a technology that could transmit telegraph messages wirelessly across the Atlantic Ocean. The inventor designed a tall structure that was to become a wireless telecommunications tower. However, Tesla did not stop there and used every opportunity to develop long-distance transmission of electricity. In this way, electricity would become available to everyone on the planet. The Miracle Tower allowed the space to be electrified by tens of kilometers around the night air, which would glow for tens of kilometers around. The night air would glow as if it were daytime and city dwellers could read the newspaper in the street. At the beginning of the 20th century, all research on the ether was suddenly curtailed. Many scientists who defended the theory of the ether were simply cut off from funding and artificial obstacles began to appear in their way. For example, laboratories were closed, scientific vacancies were reduced, there were difficulties in finding employment, and so on. At the same time, the world's media began to discredit the ether as one of the concepts of theoretical physics. The ether, on the basis of which many theories of the best scientists have been built and as a result of experiments, really interesting data was obtained, for example, about the nature of electromagnetism, was sharply silenced. In the future, even those physicists who simply mentioned the ether in a conversation with their colleagues were labeled pseudoscientists. So in general, all his previous merits were not important, even if he was right in his conclusions. Tesla achieved fantastic results during his research. He dreamed of giving people free energy, bringing civilization to a new level of development. The problem was that the maintenance of the laboratory and the financing of research and ideas was carried out by American industrialists with a very different view of the world and goals. For them, it was not important to provide free energy for the whole world and to build a spiritual and moral society. For them, it was much better to provide personal commercial gain and to create a consumer society, where their descendants will have enormous power over people. Hendershot Generator About 100 years ago, another fuel-free system capable of generating energy was invented, the Hendershot Generator. The American physicist inventor found that energy can be produced by using two resonating coils which are acted upon by a permanent magnet. The first model created by the inventor had a strange drawback. It worked only if the generator was oriented from north to south. Later, the scientist eliminated this defect, and now the device could produce electricity, regardless of the location relative to the sides of the world. The first generators were of small capacity, about 200 to 300 watts, but this was enough for stable operation of two incandescent lamps or a small sewing machine. For many years in the scientific and professional environment, disputes about this invention have not stopped. There are supporters and opponents of the generator all because no one can explain the principles of its operation properly. Although the theory of I.I. Popkov perfectly explains everything. Hendershot told his family that one of the major corporations was interested in his engines and generators. He said he would not name the company until the day he died. He said he received $25,000 on condition that he would not build such devices for the next 20 years. After that, he disappeared from the view of journalists. Banks engine. In the middle of the last century, Soviet metallurgists Kurtimov and Handros obtained a substance that could become the basis of a natural energy source. It was an alloy of nickel and titanium, nitinol, which was the property of restoring its shape after deformation. A slight change in temperature causes it to return to its previous volume, and this makes it possible to use it to obtain a wireless and completely cost-effective technology for generating energy. It was quite low-powered, only 0.2 watts, but it spun a generator and a light bulb burned as a result. The difference between the hot and the cold state of nitinol was about 20 degrees. Banks used solar energy to heat it. The efficiency of his engine was about 5 to 6 percent. It was calculated that it would be as high as 20. 
Today, a power plant similar to R. Banks's engine is used in California. It consists of five Nitinol modules and is capable of producing 5 MW of electric power. Also keep in mind this method of generating electricity is much cheaper than traditional methods. However, this engine was not particularly widespread for the most trivial reason it hindered the interests of the industrialists who hold such profitable power plants in their hands. All the time, we are trying to anticipate and guess the future, building models of world reconstruction, striving for unlimited freedom and self-actualization, creating new things and developing in seemingly unknown areas. Technology changes us, inventions that will change our world for the better and make our lives much easier and more interesting. We just have to wait for these changes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.